Hi, I'm Nathan with Carolina Computer Network Solutions, and today I'm going to teach you how to reset your Windows XP password. All right, the first thing that you'll need to do is to download Ofcrack. Ofcrack is a tool that you can use to download either to your Windows computer or if you can't get on your computer because you forgot your password, you can download it from a friend's computer and burn it onto a CD that you can use to boot from and then recover your password. So I'll show you how this works. Alright, for the demo, I'm going to assume that you don't have any access to your computer. So therefore, you need to use another one of your computers or borrow a friend's computer to download Ofcrack onto a CD. So take a look at the screen right now and you can see um, as of right now where you can download this file. This might change in the future, but right now at the time of this recording, you can download this file here. So click on Download Ofcrack Live CD, and if you have Windows XP, you're going to choose the XP version. If you have Windows Vista, you're going to choose the Windows Vista version. Um, either way, the steps are going to be exactly the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the Windows XP version. I have XP and Vista. Um, but I'm going to show you how to use the Windows XP version. So I'm going to click on this right here. And it's going to start downloading to my computer. And what's downloading to my computer right now is a ISO image. And an ISO image is an image of a CD. So you're going to need to do you're going to need to use some software to burn this onto a CD. And so if you don't have any CD burning software like Roxio or Nero or something like that, I'll show you where you can get a free trial of some software that will burn this just fine for you. So to go ahead and save this file, click OK. Usually it saves to your download folder by default. It may if you're in Windows XP ask you where you want to save it. No matter where you save it, just make sure you remember where you save it to because we're going to go back and access this file later. Alright, the next place that I want you to go is to download.com. And when you're in download.com, go to CD Burning. Just type that in the search bar at the top. Hit search and it'll pull up some CD Burning software. And you can download a free trial of A Shampoo Burning Studio 8.03. It's capable of burning ISO images onto a CD. So download the software if you don't already have um, uh, software for CD burning and then I'll show you how to use this to burn an ISO image in just a second. Alright, so now that you've installed your burning software, start your burning software and then go to create burn disk image then click on burn a CD from a disk image and then it's going to ask you where the path is that you saved that file so remember how I told you that was really important well now you need to know where you saved that file and you probably saved it um, as an ISO file so there's no need to do anything with it except browse and find it in my case I saved it to my downloads folder that's my default folder for downloading you probably saved it to your desktop or either that or to a downloads folder or something like that. So I'm going to click on this image. I'm going to open it. I'm going to click next and it's going to ask me to insert a blank CD. Now I recommend using CD plus R. Go ahead and insert uh, a CD R into your, into your drive and uh, close that. Let it burn if you have a CD burner. If you don't have a CD burner you can't you can't use this so let the CD burn and then click uh, right here it'll burn the CD and then it'll pop it will eject the CD when it's done so after the CD ejects just close the burning software out go ahead and push the CD back into your drive if you're on the computer you need to recover the password from if you're not on the computer you want to recover the password from then you need to take that CD and go stick it into the computer that you want to download or you want to recover the password from. So I'll cover how that works in just a second. Alright, so what you're going to do is restart your computer. You're going to load the CD into the CD-ROM drive. Then you're going to have to hit the boot menu key 
On my computer, it's F12. I have a Toshiba. On um, other computers, it could be F10, F9, F1, Escape, Delete. It just depends on the computer. So um, if you're not sure what the uh, key you have to press to get the boot menu where you can select what um, medium, meaning CD or hard drive network, that you want to boot your computer from, then uh, you need to go look up the documentation. If this sounds technical, don't worry about it. It's really not that bad. Just so on Toshiba, it's it's F12. I think IBM is also F12. Um, and then I get this boot menu, and we're going to scroll down and select CD to boot from. This will take just a minute. And uh, as it loads, you'll notice that it'll come up with another menu and ask me which partition that I want to boot from. And the reason that it's going to ask me that, uh, first of all, I'm going to select graphic mode, so just hit enter again. Uh, the reason it's going to ask me which partition I want to boot from is I have um, basically two hard drives on my computer, and uh, I have two different operating systems. I have Windows Vista and Windows XP. Um, so for this example, I'm just going to show you how to crack a code for Windows XP. Um, so you won't see, most, most of you won't see this extra step because you just have one operating system on your computer. So you can kind of ignore this extra step um, that's about to happen when it asks me um, what I'm doing. All right, now as you can see in the top left corner here, it's asking me which partition to use. And uh, I'm just going to type in 0. That's for the first partition, which is the Windows XP partition on this computer. This is the extra step I was telling you about to just ignore for most of you. So it'll take just a second to start. And uh, it automatically starts cracking the passwords. So you don't have to do anything. You just Put it in, boot off of it, it'll start cracking the passwords. You see over here it has uh, administrator and then it has uh, other usernames, Nathan Vardy is one of the names. And over here in this section you're going to see uh, part of the password and then the next part of the password. And then when it's done cracking the whole password will show up over here. So if you've forgotten your password, this is the password that you're going to type in for this username. So uh, my username is Nathan Vari, and when it's done, it'll have a password over here, and I'll be able to reboot my computer, take the CD out, and use that password. Now this could take some time to do, um, but it, it's very effective. It works. So once this is done, I'm just going to stop this for time's sake. And uh, once this is done, we just reboot the computer and uh, use the password that you found. And when it's done, all you have to do to reboot your computer is hit the exit key, and then you press enter to exit, and then you press Y, and then hit enter again, and it'll shut down your computer. And then when your computer reboots, all you need to do is turn your computer on. It's going to shut down, so you need to turn your computer on. And then you take the CD out, and then your computer will boot up into XP and uh, you can enter the password. And now if you have trouble with this, if this is too complicated for you, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Just give me a call at 704-248-6227 and we'll schedule a technician to get out there and help you fix your computer, help you recover your password. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.